I'm Tiffany Rose, and I'm talking to Pete Doctor, who is the director and co-writer of Disney Pixar's new adventure comedy, Up. What an amazing movie. Tell me about the story. Oh, well, thanks. Uh, the story is about a 78-year-old Carl Fredrickson who floats his house. He ties thousands of balloons to the roof, and he floats it to South America. But he accidentally takes along this kid, this uh, eight-year-old kid named Russell, who is a wilderness explorer. He's got every single badge, unlike me, you know, I don't have that many, but he's got everyone except his assisting the elderly badge, which is why he's after Carl. So as soon as Carl relents, he will be assisted and, you know, Russell will get his badge and that's all he wants. Good afternoon. My name is Russell and I am a wilderness explorer in Tribe 54. Wet Lodge 12, are you in need of any assistance today, sir? No. We started actually with Carl, and we wanted somebody to kind of play foil to him. You know, we, we knew we wanted him to grow and change and kind of come out of his shell and reconnect with the world. And who better to do that than this relentlessly optimistic kid, you know, who just won't let go? I could help you cross the street. No. I could help you cross your yard. No. I could help you cross your porch. No. Well, I gotta help you cross something. Uh, no, I'm doing fine. What, what do they both learn off each other? Carl learns, well, Carl has never been a father, right? He has always wanted to go on this fantastic adventure and never had an opportunity. And so now he's on this adventure begrudgingly with this kid but he ends up realizing that the real adventure is in life is the connection between other people. And so he becomes a father figure to this boy, and Russell, who is missing his father, uh, gains a father in the trip as well. So it all works out for both of them. So they go to this fantastic real world place called, uh, the, these things are called tipuis. They're giant tabletop mountains. They're like a mile high. The, the walls are 90 degrees sheer cliffs. You can't get up there. They're so inaccessible that about half of them today have never been set foot on by anybody and so that's where they land on one of these and uh, they meet fantastically enough a dog who can talk hey i like dog we have your dog oh wonder who he belongs to sit boy hey look he's trained shake uh-huh speak hi there <gasps> Now, it's a little different than you might expect, because most talking dogs in, in animated films, you see their lips move and they talk. In, in our movie, uh, Doug has a collar which allows uh, his thoughts to be translated. Cool! What do these do, boy? Hey, would you cut that cradle contigo? I use that collar. What Toshiwa Hanashima to talk with? I would be happy if you stopped. Working here at Pixar, we're trying to do every film you see is going to be a surprise. Like, you don't really know what you're going to get. It's going to be something different. That's the goal. Ha <laughs> <laughs>